Hello everyone! In recognition of the Zimmerle Art Museum's virtual art exhibition, Musings by Moonlight, The Moon from Japanese Art to Japanism, I'm going to teach you how to make a waning moon and traditional rabbit in origami. All you're going to need is paper of either of these sizes and scissors. We're going to first make the waning moon. To start off, we need to make a paper diamond. Fold in half diagonally in either direction. Unfold and fold this outside edge to the middle. Unfold again and repeat the same step with this edge to the middle. Now that this side is okay, repeat and mirror the same steps but with the other side. Once you're done folding the other side, rotate the paper and you can see the diamond shape we've created. We're going to cut this real quick with scissors. Make sure you don't flip the paper while cutting, as it's an important step for later. Now, we're going to flip the paper on the opposite side. Make sure the crease is facing outward, not inward. We're going to first fold the top right outside edge to the bottom left outside edge. Unfold and fold both the top and bottom outside edges to the middle crease we've created. Unfold again and now we're going to repeat the same steps with the other sides. Fold the top left outside edge to the bottom right outside edge. With that middle crease, fold both outside edges to the middle. Unfold, and now we have mini diamonds within the diamond shape. Rotate it back horizontally and flip to the other side. We're going to create even smaller diamonds. First, fold the bottom and top corner to the middle crease. Unfold, and now we're going to focus on the bottom corner. Fold the bottom corner to this first middle crease. Next, Fold it to the top middle crease you see here. You're going to repeat the same steps but with the top corner. Fold to the middle crease here. Next, fold it to the bottom middle crease. Once you finish folding these mini diamonds, we're going to flip one more time to the opposite side for its final stage. You should see the horizontal creases we've made creased outward and the diagonal lines creased inward. Now, this step is a bit tricky to do and explain, but you're going to essentially pinch the horizontal lines found in each diamond upward while pushing the diagonal lines downward. This is what's going to create the 3D effect of the waning moon. This may take some time to do, but keep watching to see the final results. Now, once you've pinched all the mini diamonds, it should look like this. Reinforce the paper together, and there you have it, the waning moon. Next, we're going to make the traditional rabbit. If your origami paper has one side that's white, start with that side. First, fold the top corner down to the bottom and make a precise crease. Then, fold both the top left and right corners down to the bottom point and crease well. Fold the left and right corners towards the middle, again creasing well. Start with either flap, open it out to the outside, pressing the top of it down to form a slanted triangle. Repeat on the other side. Then, you're going to open the flap inside to make it flat, like this. Repeat on the other side again. Fold the entire paper in half and behind, where the top part is still facing the outside. Take the flap, which is at the bottom left, and flip it up and behind. This is a rotation movement, not a reverse fold. Repeat on the flap on the other side. Fold the ears from both sides over in half as indicated. The ears don't have to look the same. 
This part is going to be the rabbit's head. You're going to reinforce a crease next to the rabbit's ears, like this. Take the slanted triangle only and crease it again towards the rabbit's ears. Repeat on the other side for reinforcement on the crease. It might not look nice yet, but this will help you make the rabbit's head. Hold onto the ears at the head. You're going to open out the bottom flaps while folding the top section downwards. The bottom flaps should be pushed over to the top of the ears on both sides of the rabbit. Now, for the tail. Fold a little triangle towards the rabbit's head. Then, make a small diagonal triangle inside of it. Reinforce on the other side. Open the triangle flap and push it inside while bringing the triangle's tip upwards, like this. For the nose, you're going to do the same step of folding it into a small triangle. Reinforce on the other side, open it, and push it inside. Open up the head and ear flaps to create the 3D effect. And there you have it, a traditional rabbit. You don't have to do this step, but I added ice to the rabbit to make it look cute. And now, you've made a waning moon and traditional rabbit in origami. I hope this demonstration was fun to do. Thanks for watching!